hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having an amazing day today i was feeling a little gloomy with everything that's going on with the coronavirus um being cooped up at home i did go for a small walk today just to throw the garbage away and i walked to a park that's nearby to my house and just walked back home um with social distancing because i needed to get out and get some fresh air but it was a really tough day for me today because I really miss my niece, I miss my sister, I just miss everybody close to me and because I can't just leave my house and go visit them, I decided that I would sit down and film a makeup tutorial to get my mind off of everything and that's why I kind of feel like in this video I'm a little gloomy, I feel like I'm not being myself but it's just because I really miss my family and this whole coronavirus is causing so much anxiety for me and I know it's causing a lot of anxiety and maybe even depression for a lot of you guys so I hope you're staying strong I hope that you are staying healthy and staying home even though it sucks right now and I know that everybody wants to enjoy themselves enjoy their spring and hopefully in the next few months we will be able to but for now I just hope that we're staying strong we're staying healthy and we're doing it for our loved ones so yeah you guys, I created this makeup look using the ColourPop Bitty Palette and I really like the way it came out. I think it's really fun and fresh for fall. So if you want to see how I did this look, continue watching. So I already did my eyebrows and primed my lids and set it with a little bit of powder and I'm going to be going in with my Bitty by ColourPop um, Palette it has some really pretty fun colors that I think are perfect for springtime. Um, I want to go into the color, I am going to go into the color called Sweet Capacity Bubblicious. And I think those are the two colors that I'm going to be playing with today. I'm going to be doing something really simple on the eye, so nothing too crazy. And I am going to be placing the shade Sweet Capacity all over the lid. So I'm going to go in with the shade Sweet Capacity. The shades in this palette are very light. So you can really build up with it. So I packed that color Sweet Capacity all over the lid and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of Bubblicious and Sweet Capacity mixed together and blend this out so that the line isn't so harsh and this is just going to go right into the crease. I'm going to take a little bit of my Wet n Wild powder and dust this on the brow bone just to blend out. Make sure everything is really nice and blended. And then I'm going to continue going back and forth between the two shades and really build up that outer corner with the Bubblicious shade and work it into the crease. It could be messy because we're going to clean it up once we are finished. So So the next shade that I'm going to go into is I'm going to wet the brush a little. I wet the brush a little 
I'm gonna go pick that color up. Taking my fluffy brush again, blending all of that out. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Tom Ford liquid liner and do a nice thick cat eye. Um, I'm going to keep the eyes like this because I think it's really fun and um, I really like the shade of the sweet capacity all over the lid and I think that it'll look really cool with a graphic kind of liner. So I'm going to put on some liner. And that is the eyes. I'm going to put on some of my Man Eater mascara. My one of my favorite mascaras that I've been trying and testing out. Um, really good. It lengthens my lashes as well as give it it gives it a lot of volume, which is what I like. Um, I don't have really long lashes, so I like something that gives me length and volume. I'm on the, I'm trying to find a mascara that will lengthen and do volume from the drugstore, but unfortunately I cannot find one that I really like. I've tried Maybelline, I've tried L'Oreal, um, I haven't tried the Voluminous by L'Oreal, which I want to try, but I feel like that one's going to be more so for thickening and volumizing my lashes and not so much, um, lengthening. I do a few generous coats of mascara. I'm going to come back and do my complexion and then we're going to finish up the eyes underneath the eyes because I really want to blow it out and make it really pretty. So we're going to do just that. And so today for our skin, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. It has 24 hour fresh wear. Um, a lot of people have been saying this one is really good. I've had it for a while and I play around with it here and there. Um, but I haven't really like tested it out so I'm gonna put it on today it's a little pink on me and this one shade may be a little light it looks good on camera but it's quite pink in person I think I need another color but it will work for me right now I was watching uh, Julia Haven and she was raving about this foundation um, and I was like I have it but I haven't really played around with it so we're gonna do since I want this to be really full coverage coverage I'm gonna do about two layers of it um, and blend it up don't forget your ears I'm not going to forget them because the shade is a little pink for me. Um, and I have a mock neck turtleneck on, so it'll cover 
the neck but if I didn't have on a turtleneck I would have I would bring it down a lot more I can't believe I've had it in my collection and I haven't even really tested it out I think it's because the shade the shade doesn't really work for me the shade doesn't really work for me so I haven't really tried it but because Julia Haven's, um, Julia Haven was raving about it. I was like, you know, let me take it out of my collection and try playing around with it. The two concealers that I'm going to be using is, again, another L'Oreal product. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And then I'm going to be mixing it with my Pacifica Liquid Full Coverage Concealer as well. This is one of my favorite concealers. You can get it at Ulta and um, I think you can get it at Target as well. The L'Oreal is going to go, since I want to do something really full coverage, I'm putting quite a bit, more than I normally would. I'm going to take a little bit of the Pacifica and that's going to go... And I'm going to blend this all in. I'm going to start with the darker shade first. So I want my skin to be really, really glowy and I'm going to be using multiple highlighters. So I have my, I have three highlighters that I'm going to be playing around with. I'm going to start with my first Sally, um, Jelly Beam in Rose Gold. Then I'm going to go in with my Huda um, Cream that looks like this from the Huda palette in the 3D um, highlighter palette in the shade Pink Sand. So this is the Pink Sand edition. I'm going to be using that cream. I love this palette. And then I'm also going to be using ColourPop's Smoke and Whistles, which looks like this. Really pretty silvery colored um, highlighter. I'm sorry that I keep looking at the viewfinder. I am using a different camera than I normally use, so that is why. So I'm going to do the cream highlighters before I set my makeup. Like I said, the first cream highlighter I'm going to use is my Farsali Jelly Beam. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that on a brush. Then I'm going to take the cream highlighter from the Huda palette and I'm going to work this on top of the highlighter we already put down. So three highlighters because we want this to be extra dewy. One of my favorites, you guys. I wanted the other shadow palette um, that was more gold, but this one is just so beautiful that I was like, okay, I could work with this one because the other one was sold out when I had went looking for it, and I was like going between the two, but this one I was like, I can 
definitely get use out of this one and I definitely have like it's my favorite highlighting palette right now to date and I just love that it comes with this cream right in here it's so pretty you can see I have a little bit of a dent in there before we go in with the smoke and whistles highlighter I want to powder my face a little which I'm going to use my wet and I'm going to use my Wet n Wild powder that I use in a majority of my videos and just set where I didn't use highlighter and under the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with my color pop smoke and whistles this is such a pretty color too it has like a silvery tone to it and a silver undertone to it instead of a gold so it's very bright The next thing I'm going to do is do some bronzer and this is my Bobbi Brown Stone Street Bronzer. It's a cool tone bronzer and it's good for contouring. Um, the Fenty one that I use is a little bit warmer tone. This one is cooler tone so it contours really nicely. You can tell. And then this is my Bobbi Brown Bronzer Brush which is one of my favorite brushes for bronzer. It's amazing if you go to a Bobbi Brown counter. It is one of the um, best brushes I found for a bronzer. The blush I'm going to use is my Wet n Wild Nudist Society blush. It's a pretty peachy tone blush that I think will complement the eyeshadow really well. And that's just going to go on the apples of the cheek. And I like to take a little right down the center of the nose because it gives you a natural um, suntan look, sun-kissed look. I kind of want to exaggerate the blush a little, bring it out a little bit more. And that is pretty much it for the skin done. We're going to come back to the eyes and I'm going to finish and blow out the bottom and then I will show you uh, the lip combination. So for the bottom, I'm going to take a little bit of Bubblicious and I'm going to work that underneath. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Sweet Capacity and just run that right underneath the shade Bubblicious. I'm going to take a little bit of mascara, run that right underneath. The lip combination that I'm going to use is the Estee Lauder Spice Lip Liner with the Kim Kardashian West um, lipstick in number four, nude number four. And I'm going to overline my lip a little.
So you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it for you guys. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Also, if you haven't click on the notification bell, that would help me out a lot also. Um, and what else? What else do I have to say? Oh, and hit the thumbs up button so that I know that this is a video that you enjoyed watching. And until my next video, you guys, I will be seeing you. Bye.